At 20 weeks, mom Regina went in for an anatomy scan and met with her doctor. They explained to her that baby Grayson was developing fine, but her cervix was too short and needed to go on immediate bed rest with the hope of getting her to 24 weeks before he was born. Well, at 23 weeks and five days, Regina's water broke. She contacted University of Michigan Health Sparrow and they encouraged her to come in. They examined me and they said, your water has broken. And you need your husband to get here. They immediately put me on magnesium. They gave me a shot for Grayson's lungs and just started to pray and hope. They were two hours shy of the 24 hour mark to get Grayson to 24 weeks. The doctors explained what was going to happen and that most likely Grayson would not cry when he was born and that they'd immediately have to take him to the NICU. Before I had the procedure, I had the sacrament of the sick. You know, our faith is very important to us, so we just had a lot of prayers in. I remember everyone was really positive and encouraging, but I had a moment where I said, if it doesn't work out how we hope, promise me you'll take care of him that he won't just discard. And they were very kind and assured me that that's not what would happen. And as they were delivering him, all of a sudden this big cry comes out. And I told God, I said, God, if he's ready to fight, I'm fighting with him. We were told uh, by the fellow, I think, that uh, you wouldn't expect a baby that young to really have the air in their lungs to, to cry at all. Mm -hmm. and, and it was uh, not as loud as our other kids, obviously, but it was audible. And I knew right at that moment that God had listened to our prayers and he was going to be okay. I knew it was going to be a long haul, but he was going to be okay from that moment on. This started Grayson's 114 day journey in the NICU. The entire staff was there and willing to listen, guide, and help Regina and Ryan throughout this difficult time, while they also had the support from family, friends, and from their employer, Jackson National. Knowing that we had people there that we were, we got to know was made all the difference. Megan and Kim were two of the nurses that followed him during the day. Um, <laughs> they were excellent at just being, for me, my rock. The team at U of M Health Sparrow works tirelessly day and night to keep parents in touch with their baby throughout the duration of the stay at the hospital and to help them focus on just one day at a time. Having just that support and care from the moment I found out that I was at risk of losing him to the moment he was delivered, and all of this happened at Sparrow, everyone, you know, treated Grayson as if he, that he was the life worth fighting for, and I so appreciate that. And for any parent going through that, just know that um, Sparrow is just an amazing place to be. They give 100% to every baby. Mom and dad describe Grayson as spunky and strong. Though small, he's learned to use his voice among his older brothers who love him dearly. We're just very blessed. I tell people that, you know, the RNICU is like, it's like a club you, you never want to have to go to. But if you are in that need and you have to be there, you're really lucky because of the quality of care they provide at Sparrow. 